What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Vaker Maker, a.k.a. Deansley, and I'm here to give you some true shit. So, One Piece has done it again, guys. They've done it again. They have broken, they broke the internet. You, you know, several months ago, like a year ago, we we thought we had already went through, what, uh, what the rooftop. We thought we were already in peak peace. Nah, this, this right here, this is peak peace right here. And, and and the and the crazy thing is we're just getting started. So we finally got to the episode. We finally got to the moment where Luffy had obtained uh gear five, under known as the the Joy Boy form or whatever. So here's the thing. I've known about this form for quite some time now, like for a minute. Unfortunately, much like a lot of things that get leaked, you know, in the manga, unfortunately, I've, I've been aware of this form. It got leaked out to me. I saw it on the internet, at least as far as like the form in the manga format. Now, I've seen fan art. I've seen, uh, they're sh hell, they're showing this shit at, uh, in conventions. They even got statues made for this, for these, uh, for this form. I, so I've already been aware of it. And plus they even showed... You, you, we actually get, do get to see a glimpse of it, a very sh brief glimpse of it, in the in the most recent uh, One Piece film, uh, film Red. You got to see it for a split second, for a fleet couple seconds. Yeah, it did make an appearance. So, yeah, but this is like the first time the anime has fully animated the transformation and everything, and you know, giving it its own due and stuff. And I'm so. What's my opinion? Like I said, so like prior to me watching the episode, I had to wait a couple hours just because like the, you know, much like it did. So much like, um, so like it, it did this very, this tonight reminds me a lot of the hype going around when Dragon Ball Super was still airing and when old, when Goku went ultra instinct for the very first time against Shirin. It reminds me of that so much because I remember that night too, where I was trying to get on the Crunchyroll app, and they crashed on me. The app it was crashing because everyone was getting tuning in just to go see Goku's brand new form or whatever. And same thing happened tonight with Funimation with the Funimation app, and uh, same thing with the Crunchyroll. I had to wait a couple hours to even go uh, to watch this episode, and I finally did. And uh, so. So I'll be real with you. So like when, when I was watching this episode, I did not see it in the best quality. I did not see it in the best video quality. The very, it, there was certain scenes, certain parts and moments in the movie uh, where the where the uh, where the uh, scenes were got a little pixelated for me. Uh, luckily, so I so I did manage to like rewatch it. Uh, rewatching in better quality on YouTube and stuff like that. And luckily for me, and I'm like, and after seeing it, rewatching certain moments, I got to really fully emerge myself. And finally, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. So I was kind of, I was mostly just in awe and in confusion, right? I was like, what the F am I watching type of thing, right? The whole time I'm like, what the mess? But at the same time, and you know what? I'm like I said. I was a little bit like, "What the fuck is this?" Right? But the animation, everything. It thinking about it and like seeing what they did, the direction they went with this, and apparently it's the same way with the way it was uh, drawn in the, in the manga, from what I've been told. And everyone, like all the mangaries I've 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 heard said that most, they said this, they, the animators totally did a great job, like animating this to adapting this into to animation for the most part. And, um, I gotta be, and you know, um, so basically when I was watching this the whole time I was thinking, I was like, dude, this is straight from a Looney Tunes cartoon, <laughs> how silly and wacky this was. I was like, what the fuck? A part of me kind of wasn't expecting it, but at the same time, a part of me kind of was because, so like if this was any other character and this was a different show, then I probably would have felt like a little uh, underwhelmed with it. But honestly, this actually fits Luffy to a T because I remember just seeing Luffy uh, 
lo losing his gum gum powers for the first time, using his rubber rubber powers for the first time. I was like, this is straight from a Looney Tunes cartoon. So when you sing, watching the animators do their thing with this, it's straight from a Looney Tunes slash Tom and Jerry cartoon. The way it was animated and everything, this was completely different from what I've seen before as far as transformation scenes go. This was wacky. This was crazy. And like I said, it fits Luffy to a T, honestly. So it, it, it definitely works. In my opinion, it works. Now, um, is this my favorite One Piece? I don't know if I go far to say this is my favorite One Piece moment, but I really did enjoy this. I enjoyed seeing Luffy just go 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 to town on 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 Kaido in a, such a in a wacky fashion, you know. Um, I know for some people, like uh, like my um, one of my cousins, he said he was like it was kind of he was a little. He actually said that he it was the whole thing was kind of made to him because he the whole time he. Now keep in mind this is got, coming from like a a a a a fourteen year old kid who loves Dragon Ball Z and he kept, kept trying to compare it to say like uh, Goku's Ultra Instinct scene or Super Saiyan scene or whatever and like it's not as epic or whatever I mean on a t see the direction it went with I felt like it was wacky but that was the point you're kind of missing the point by saying, oh, this is such, it, this is so weird, this is so wacky, that's the point of it, it's supposed to be weird, it's supposed to be wacky, it's supposed to be, like, straight from, a, like, a western cartoon anime, and it did, it def, definitely hit its mark, in my opinion, but as far as, like, now, if you, you if you're one of those who, who didn't like it for that reason, then that's fine, you know, I think that's fair, that's fine, uh, it's. I think it's perfectly fine if, like, is this not the direction you kind of wanted Gear Fight to go? That's fine, you know, whatever. But I think it actually worked for, if, like I said, if it was any other character, then no, I think this whole thing would have felt weird. It, it worked for Luffy. I think for a character like Luffy, who can be wacky, who can be silly, and can be a little epic, you know, I think this fit very well. I think the animators did a wonderful job at that in making this, this whole episode feel different like this definitely uh compared to all the other gear forms we've gotten so far this is this easily stands out for, as far as appearance and just how well the, how animated it was and easily my favorite moment in the whole damn episode uh was just luffy like when they were uh spelling out the, the letters of Gear 5, and then you get to see, like, little flashbacks of Luffy through, through, through all his previous gears. That's, like, easily my favorite moment of the whole episode. But, uh, yeah, I just want to give you guys my own thoughts and everything. Um, I do plan on doing, like, a... I do plan on doing, like, my own review on the whole arc as a whole. When the arc is over, of course, but, you know, it's still not over yet. We're still... We just got into the whole Kaido versus Gear, uh, Gear, uh, Joy Boy Luffy thing. So it's just getting started. Um, but anyways, I just want to get get my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? Uh, please, no manga spoilers, please. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you guys think of it. Were you were you did did did, did this form did this episode live up to the hype for you guys, or were you a little underwhelmed by it? Comment below. Let me know. Um, uh, so like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more videos like these, and most importantly, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I do post these videos. Now with that said, stay beast.